I hate to have to make a video like this, um, mainly because there's nothing original about this. There's no video editing. I'm not going to do any censoring, uh, cutting, pasting, keynoting, nothing. Um, this is me ranting about why YouTube just does not want to do anything that's best best for business. I hate to say it any other way. I don't want to sound like fucking Triple H over here, but seriously, I mean, the only way that you succeed as a company, regardless of your industry, is through growth. And ever since, really, even before then, since I started streaming uh, a little over two years ago, this is around Halloween 2020, uh, it seems every month there's something new with YouTube, a new policy change that is so fucking asinine that it doesn't make any sense, or this latest one where it's like, okay, fine, we understand, like, why you want to kind of limit, you know, violence and profanity, uh, but the, the vagueness behind it, and then the potential of the, the auto captioning causing issues is just completely outlandish. And it's very clear from between Jim Finnett dealing with what he's dealing with right now, losing his entire fucking YouTube channel or channel 13 heart losing monetization after like two weeks because they're not transformative enough, which that is a whole nother can of worms that I could seriously just take a shit on like it, it, the reasons. And I've seen it too, like it publicly stated from YouTube supporter, whatever their fucking handle is. It's just, it's a cop out. It's automated canned responses. There's no, there's no human interaction there. And it's very clear. Like, I, sure, there could be a human behind this Twitter handle that logs in from their system and replies, but it's going to be a macro. There's going to be something, there's going to be some type of canned response or a script that they're using, like like a scammer would in India trying to get you to fucking give them gift cards to pay off a warrant you have in Bangladesh, which you've never been there before. But it's, it's the same, it's the same ignorance. It's the same just shit everywhere. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, I've made it very clear in my discord, um, that money has never been something that I give two shits about when it comes to streaming, uh, YouTube videos, TikTok shorts, whatever it is. I, I don't care. Monetization to me is just a way that if people want to show support in that way, fine, go for it. But what's most important to me is growing a community growth, which makes, to me, that shows success, like I said at the start of this video. And I only was doing YouTube because YouTube is, quite honestly, it's it's the biggest platform there is for, for uh, you know, recorded videos, whatever it happens to be. Uh, in, in terms of video gaming, like, it it's the top sure twitch is bigger in terms of streaming but I won't get into that battle but in the terms of how to get outreach and be discovered by people um youtube was a, the reason i started doing youtube not only to put vods on here for anyone that wants to watch an old stream that twitch no longer has because of the you know the 90 day cutoff which is fine it's not a problem. Clearly understand that storage is expensive. Uh, it's for people to find those VODs or they want to see uh, shorts because obviously YouTube is trying to compete with TikTok in the, in the shorts realm. Everything is, you know, mobile in the 16 by 9 uh, resolution there. So so I get it. I, I totally get that it made sense for me, at least at the time, to to want to be a part of YouTube as as a uh, supplement to the Twitch channel and the streams. If I'm able to put out videos of my streams, clips, and a weekly highlight video of a game that I had played recently, uh, I figured that would that could bring in some new faces, some new people into the community, into the jug mob, which is which just broke 600 people by the way of the day. So just round applause to everybody. Thank you for being a part of it. 
uh, and I'm looking forward to, to the next 100 people. We get to 700. Uh, and then 750 is the um, the horror VR stream. So I'm excited for these things down the line, but I, I almost feel like trying to do anything on YouTube outside of um, VODs and clips, or shorts rather, uh, just to have them there for as another place for people to find them a bit more easier uh, than say looking for a clip on Twitch um, or, or if the VODs past 90 days. Like that's it, great. I'm gonna still keep doing that. The, the weekly videos, highlight videos, I don't see the point anymore. Um, I was never gonna get uh, monetized on YouTube. It's just, it's, I don't have the growth here. I've been doing this for two years, um, albeit kind of off and on. <laughs> but even when I was really strong in doing a weekly video, um, there, there's no algorithm there. There's or there is, and it just doesn't give a shit. Um, I, I put a lot of effort into these, um, staying up late, even past I even past my own streams, trying to get these done. I want to get them done every week for a Wednesday, you know, midday Eastern Standard Time release. And um, I, I'm not getting new faces in from that platform at least through excuse me through my channel i will say that i've had many many people come into my streams saying they saw me or knew me from channel 13 horror which to breakfast at noon and the entire channel 13 staff like i cannot fucking thank enough um i will gladly throw money at them <laughs> because they are helping my community grow uh, it has, my community has really taken off on the Twitch side because of channel 13 har without a doubt in my mind, the, the, the numbers are clear. Uh, but that's, that's the only thing on YouTube that's been helpful to me and my community, the jug mob over on Twitch. Um, I don't see a reason to really continue doing that much more work, uh, on the YouTube platform. So you will still get your VODs here. You'll still get your clips here. Um, but YouTube's going to have to really, really take a step back and see what they're doing. Because, of course, you're going to have your you have your big streamers that are streaming on YouTube right now. You have your content creators. I mean, do I really need to name drop fucking Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and people like that? I mean, I, I guess I just did. But... Sure, the the money you're making off of that the, that content that they're putting out is, is certainly helpful. And there's a ton of other channels that are not even in gaming that are bringing in tons of money for YouTube. Or can we just say Google at this point? We know Google owns them. We're not dumb. Uh, so they're making a killing off of this content, but they don't give two fucking dams about anybody else. Like, do you, you, you don't want to offer any sort of real human interaction to get to a point where it's like, okay, now your, your content is transformative enough, channel 13. Now we can monetize you. No, you, they just come back with, oh yeah, uh, it's not transformative enough. Well, give us some fucking examples. Give us some real fucking feedback from a human being's point of view. Like if I did something wrong at my my regular daily job and they told me hey you fucked up on this case this customer's pissed off shame on you do better and that's it i'd be I, I, my first response to that is well what did i do wrong and what can i do next time to avoid this and maybe is there a process issue here is there something wrong that maybe you know we're not doing right as a team maybe not an individual I'm not trying to push blame but you know, let's make sure that all bases are covered. Because at the end of the day, the consumer or the customer or in YouTube's point, the viewer that's clicking on the videos and generating ad revenue is what matters most. And if if all I get in return from, from management is just be better, how am I going to get better? That's not supporting me. 
that's not supporting my team, that's not supporting my organization, and that sure as shit isn't supporting my company, nor our consumers at the end of the day. And again, it all comes back to growth. If we're not doing what's best for the end consumer and getting the content out there, what's the fucking point, YouTube? You just want to have the same handful of big names that are in there. You you know, you get your mid-tier people that are in there and they've kind of made it in, but you only have people, real humans talking to the big, the big guys and girls around here. I understand it's a huge platform. I understand there's a lot of channels on here. Um, not again, not just even video games, not even just streamers. There's a lot of categories in YouTube, but something needs to be done because every month in the last two years, if not longer than that, it seems there's something new where you guys are just fucking shoving your own dick in the dirt. You're nose diving from up in the clouds that you were at. You are the top dog for, for video content on the internet globally. And if you don't want the crown anymore, then keep doing what you're doing. And that's really all I need to say about it. You're shooting yourself in the fucking foot. To the rest of you, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Um, all the links will be down below. If you haven't joined our Discord, please do. Uh, we have a great time, great discussions there. Um, TikTok, I'm going to try to get back into because I was doing clips on YouTube and thinking that was a better bet. It's not. TikTok has been a better position there for me, so I'll be continuing doing that there. Uh, and also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. Um, I tend to make a lot of updates there and, of course, sharing memes. We get a laugh sometimes, I suppose. <laughs> but, uh, and of course, Twitch, um, which is the home, the official home of the Jug Mob and always will be. Uh, unless they start fucking putting their own dick in the dirt, too. But that's a conversation for later. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.